welcome back my friends welcome to another edition of christmas decorating with happy hot home i am this is a place where i provide inspiration to make every house a fashionably elegant home and i'm so glad that you joined me today Today we are going to be decorating our kitchen table. You all know that I decorated the tree a while ago. This is our kitchen Christmas tree. It is a 10 foot tree and I decorated it with ribbon. I also showed you how to do the ribbon picks. It is in burgundy and gold and I absolutely love it. It is a beautiful tree. So I am trying to coordinate our table with the tree. So this year I chose a green velvet tablecloth. Last year I had a blue tablecloth and I had blue ornaments and I had um, a centerpiece with blue in it. But this year I decided to go with a beautiful emerald green and the tablecloth is just lush. I love using velvet whenever I decorate and you just can't go wrong with velvet and if I can get it in my decor as much as possible, I always choose velvet. So I am starting off with a very large tablecloth and I am using gold runners chargers sorry cool chargers not a runner but what I don't particularly like about these chargers is that they're like super shiny they're super gold and they're super shiny and uh, they're not like my absolute favorite but I got them at a good price so I snatched them up so to fix my issue of them being a little bit too shiny I am taking a placemat which you would normally you know just put on the table and i'm putting it on top of the charger instead of under the charger so it kind of mutes the shininess a bit and it it looks pretty and i'll show you at the end how it looks but that's how i'm sort of getting around the issue of the charger just being a little bit too shiny i am setting this table for six people and I think it's going to turn out beautiful and I am eager to show you how it looks in the end. I hope you are really going to like it. I am going to keep the plates very simple and I showed you these plates. I use them in my dining room and they are just a very light cream colored plate with a gold rim. Super versatile. I recommend a set like this that everybody should have. You can dress them up, dress them down, use them all year long, and they're really just spectacular. You can use them every day, you can use them for fancy events, you can, you can, they're, they're just great. I can't say enough good things about them. I am going to place uh, a salad plate on top of them just to add another pretty layer. And I do have six of those as well. You know, I go back and forth about wanting to buy a Christmas set. I look at them, I've seen so many beautiful ones, but I just haven't been able to pull the trigger to buy an entire set that I can only use once a year. Is anybody else with me on this? There are some beautiful ones out there. There's some gorgeous ones from Lennox, from William Sonoma. I've seen so many that I love, but ugh, I don't know. I just haven't been able to do it yet. I can do, I can buy chargers that are, you know, holiday related and mix and match those, but just buying an entire set with all of the plates and everything, I just haven't been able to do it yet. Draw me a line and tell me what you all think about that. Do you have it? Do you use it more than once a year? You know, do you, do you regret it? Is it, you know, hard to store? Um, I, because I really, I want to do it. I'm just <laughs> haven't been able to do it yet. So I would love your opinion on that. Okay, so I am going to use gold. As you can see, there is a lot of gold since we have a burgundy and gold tree. And the tablecloth is this really pretty emerald green. Then I am using my gold flatware. And I told you about my flatware set in um, my dining room video when I called it my starter set. And I told you that I was looking for another set. I literally just ordered another set. 
probably about 10 minutes ago and it is a silver and a gold set and I can't wait to show it to you. It is so cute. I got it on sale. I was waiting for a sale and it is so cute and it has little bees on it and I'm really excited to receive it. So I will show you what that looks like when it comes in. I will do another place setting. Maybe I will do another one here in the kitchen because what I'm showing you now today is one setting and I have another one. Long story short about that centerpiece in the middle. Um, but maybe I'll do another one when I get my new flatware. If you would like to see that, let me know. Put, you know, drop a comment and let me know if you would like to see uh, another centerpiece that I am well that I actually did order, which was my original order. Um, but yeah. So this is how our place setting is shaping up. What do you think? So when I think about napkins when I'm creating a tablescape many times I like to use a completely different pattern than the tablecloth sometimes I like to use the exact same pattern as the tablecloth today I am using the exact same pattern I did purchase the very same colored napkins in that beautiful emerald green that I just love that is so striking and I have these adorable little wreath napkin holders that I will link. They are so cute and they were like such a great price. Um, I, I just love the look of them with the napkins. So I decided to keep those together. I actually did order different napkins for it, but getting back to my centerpiece saga, I'll go on when I put the centerpiece down I'll explain a little bit more of that but anyway it's not the one that I ordered that I originally ordered so I kind of had to scramble at the last minute but anyway I hope you like these napkins I spread them out created like a little fan defect and I think they just look beautiful okay so now I am going to bring in the centerpiece for the table each year I splurge on a few higher priced items, whether it be, you know, a really nice ornament set or a beautiful garland such as this, but I do try to add some higher end items to my collection each year. So I did splurge on this centerpiece and it's not the one that I ordered. <laughs> they sent me the wrong one. So I like this one but I reordered the one after being told that it was out of stock. I reordered the one that I originally ordered and I'm trying to decide if I wanna keep this one in addition. So you all let me know what you think about the one that is on the table. It's pretty, it's very pretty. Um, it coordinates well with the tablecloth and like I said, I kind of try to rearrange everything to make it work and match, but um, let me know what you think. I am going to put the final touches on the table uh, along with a beautiful ice bucket that I added to the end of the table. I will show you a close up. It's by Arthur Court. It's so beautiful and the champagne just looks spectacular in it. I love all their pieces. They're so exceptionally well made. Um, but yes, I will show that to you. We are getting ready for the full reveal. I also wrapped a piece of velvet ribbon around the chairs just to give it you know, an extra little wrapped look. So I hope you like that. And coming right up, we are getting ready to do the reveal.